everybody, my name is Finnick Flyer and welcome back to the next episode of my Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Roulette Lock. Last episode, we finally beat our father Norman for the first time, and this episode, we're continuing past that. Hopefully making our way over to Fortree City. But first, before that, I would like to do a quick team recap with our new team. First of all... The Pokemon that, in the end, finished off the gym battle last time. We have, I almost called, I almost called him Stench. He's not Stench. That's just his ability. We have Alex the Dugong with Stench. No item with Headbutt, Icy Wind, or Aurora, Aurora Beam, and Surf. <laughs> We have Cal the Mischievous with Volt Absorb, Psybeam Astonish, Confuse Ray, Growl. We have Momo the Whalemer with Hyper Cutter, Water Pulse, Whirlpool, Astonish, Growl. We have uh, Fate the Feebas with Soundproof, Splash Tackle, Flail Surf. I did some research. I thought that I could evolve Feebas into my Lotic by just winning a bunch of beauty contests in the contest hall. No, I need I need to feed him a bunch of like Pokeblocks with a bunch of berries. I don't have all of those berries, nor those Pokeblocks. Apparently you're typically supposed to get it after the Elite Four, so um I tried to use PK Hex to just make him a Milotic because he's a Feebas and all the other Pokemon can evolve, but um I can't, so like, um, if any of you happen to know how to make PK Hex work or some other program to totally not force Feebas to unnaturally evolve into a Milotic, message me, I'll appreciate you, thank you. So anyway, next on the list, we have Frogger the Venomoth with Damp, Poison Powder, Disable, Confusion, and Stun Spore, and last but not least, we have B, very much not the least, Quite a powerful Pokemon with huge power, Walgreen, with Body Slam, Growl, Water Gun, and Aurora Beam. So that is the team. That is the team indeed. So yeah, let's get going. I'm honestly not sure. I guess, yeah. I was about to say, I'm not sure. Should I have... Oh wait, we can... Did I ever fish here? No, this is this route. But I can actually get some new encounters right now. I didn't- wait a minute, I can surf now. I need to do encounter going thingy do. I'm excited to see what we're gonna get. I'm also kind of worried because... Ah, uh, we just had our whole team change and now we're gonna have team changes again! Most likely, that is. Uh, let's try to not... Run into anybody. I'm not sure where the people are, but I would like to try to not run into them because I have a bunch of water Pokemon and fighting a bunch of water types is gonna be crazy. Actually, I'm gonna use this and actually think about who I'm sending out first. I don't know what level these Pokemon are gonna be. You're gonna be pretty good. I can confuse them. Too bad we can't make them fall asleep again. So let's see, are we gonna get any encounters going on? Any of them? Any of them? No, I guess... I guess we'll look around on the... On the islands while we're trying to get an encounter here. I think there's some items on these items. Some items on these islands. Um, is there a way I can do them in- Nope! No! Okay. Ah, uh, that's fine. We have a Wingle. Okay, it's so level 25. Okay. And a Whalmer. That wasn't bad. Um, let's go ahead and battle these guys. Because if we get an encounter, 
We got an encounter. Okay, Cacturn. I think, was that? Did I run into it on its, on the first run? I think, oh, you're level nine. I think I ran into you on the first run, like a Cacturn, but Katie said no. Katie said no cacti. There will be zero cacti on this team. But let's see if I can catch you this time. Cacturn's really cool. I really like Cacturn, like, as a Pokemon. I've always liked Cacturn and thought it was, like, super cool. Never used one. Never had the chance to. So that'll be really interesting if I'm able to. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hate yourself? You're gonna hate yourself. Okay. Not sure if that... I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, you missed! Oh, oh, ready? Dang. Okay, let's just go ahead and stun spore and then switch back to Ka What have you used? You've used absorb. You've used I'm not actually sure. What you've used? I'm trying to think. I don't think it has a dark type attack yet, basically, is what I'm saying. Cool! Cacturn! What are we gonna name him? What are you gonna name this cactus boy? Scarecrow Pokemon. After spending thousands of years in harsh deserts, its blood transformed into the same substance as sand. It is nocturnal, so it hunts at night. Scarecrow Pokemon, Cacturn. Hmm. It's a bunch of spikies. Yes, I am gonna wanna nickname you. So it's a Scarecrow Pokemon. It's a cactus. It has like a pointy hat, you know? And pointy hats, witches have pointy hats. And I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley recently. And in Stardew Valley, Witches turn eggs into void eggs. Which... Apparently has a connection to the fact that it's a scarecrow? I don't know where that came in my head. I don't know why the fact that it's a scarecrow. Probably just because the scarecrow made me start thinking of Stardew Valley. Because I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley recently as well. Ugh. Waiting for my brother to get out of class and everything. Ooh. So I'm gonna name you... Victor. Because, I don't know, V and Vic Victor and Void both start with a V. I don't know where the Victor thing came out, but... I don't know, I just, I imagined... A Cacturn? And then I thought of the name Victor, and that's, that's how we got here. <laughs> Victor was transferred to someone's PC. Placed in box one. Okay, so let's see really quickly what the wheel is going to say. Hmm. And it says Frogger is no longer with us, which is okay. That's okay. That's fine. So let's go ahead and I want to keep getting encounters. Actually, we're going to be running into... That doesn't actually make a difference because I'm going to be running into... Do for town super quickly. So let's just put you in the back and let's go and see if we can. You know, maybe it would help if I showed the game again instead of the roulette wheel. <laughs> I just put Frogger in the back of the party. Let's go and see if we can get this item. Might also help if I now unpause the game again. If we can get this item. <laughs> yeah. At least it's easier for me to notice when the game is paused, you know? Uh, 25, 25. I'm gonna do Psybeam against you and Orbeam against you. 
And there we go. And what are you gonna do? Confused. And that's fine. Um, Psy Beam against you, and Aurora Beam against you two. Just might as well take it out, see if the confusion will do it. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Red. I don't think that's actually how you predicted. There we go, predicted. So there we go, and let's take a look-see at this item. A poison barb. Okay. That'll be helpful if I ever get a poison type. But yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, what's down here? An area I can't get to. Is that an item or is that a person? I'm not sure. A Jolteon! That's so cute! I know, I'd have been fine with either. I'd have been fine with either. Um, oh, that's a tree. That's not a person or a, um, a, um, an item. I'm a, oh, dang, I keep thinking I can sneak around, but I can't. Um, are there people or can I the letter past Route 106? I don't know if I have an encounter for the troop. I don't know if this is the route that is just above Duford. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to catch this Pokemon, catch this Clefairy. I actually... Yeah, Clefable is a Gen 2 evolution, right? Because I have a Moonstone. So I'm gonna catch this Clefairy, spin the wheel as if it's on my team, and then look through my Pokemon that, I ha that I've caught before, and if I've caught one on this route, then I won't use it. Or if it's the same route, you know, that I just have already caught a Pokemon on. So I'm going to Confuse, right? And see what you're gonna do. You're gonna Encore me into Confuse, right? I don't know why I clicked Fight. I should've bag. I'll just use a normal Pokeball. Okay, Encore Sing. This is another Pokemon that can make someone fall asleep. Double Slap. Um, You're no longer confused. I don't know how many turns you've been not confused for. I didn't notice. Bro, you don't get confused. Bro! Oh my gosh! Oh wait, I shouldn't have. Or I can run! Or I can run! That was definitely a product of speed up because I moved the thing and then it moved another way. I'm just gonna decide that. I wouldn't have been able to catch it anyway, you know? I think I honestly couldn't have, but you know, maybe, maybe. Charmander would have been cool. Charmander would have been really cool. Yeah, that is something that does happen. I've been really good. I don't think I've accidentally gotten crit before from, as a, as a product of speed up, but I have run away from a Pokemon before as a product of speed up. So that's fine. Is there an item? Because like, it would be cool if there was. Yeah, I think that this is the same route that we already caught, or we didn't catch. I think the Pokemon from this route was the Latios, Latios, Latios. Um, but we tried to catch a Pokemon on this route. Yeah, it's the same one. So that's fine. Didn't actually lose anything. You know, it's just a warning to watch out for the future. That's all it is. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon and switch out Frogger for Victor. Okay, that's fine. Hello, yes, someone's PC. Move Pokemon. Oh, why is this all- this disgusts me. Oh my gosh, um, there we go. We have our team, we have our team. Did I heal my Pokemon? 
Yes, I did, but I do need to level up Victor. I'm gonna do this smart. I'm going to level up Victor to level 17. So Victor can still attack the Pokemon on the next route. Leech Seed. Poison Sting, Leer, Absorb, Growth. Uh, growth can be good. Poison Sting can be good. All of these moves are gonna be eventually replaced. I'm gonna get rid of Leer because I think- No, Poison! is not a special. Poison is physical. Oh well, it's already done. 14, 15, 16, 17. Sand attack. Yes, I do want sand attack. Um, in place. Of growth. Cause I will use sand attack more than growth. Um, 18, just in case. And now, we might be able to attack Pokemon with Victor. We might not, but we might be able to. One of the- one of those two options will- will- will be there. Okay, so... Okay, good- good trip, good trip. So let's see... Ah, uh, that looks like you can go, but I know you can't. Did you see me? You saw me. Okay. Let's see, not this route, but the next route. Let's see what Pokemon we are going to get. There we go. Cap. I felt like, so our next level cap, as you can see in the top of the screen, is going to be level 34. I felt like getting to level 31 was good enough to be able to get to... Go this way to be able to get to Fortree City, but not over level. We want to wait. Oh, what's our encounter? It doesn't get rid of Wonder Guard on Shedinja, does it? Don't confuse. Um. Oh, I can't paralyze anymore. Shoot. Oh, dang. I used to think that lowering stats, like if I just used Growl and Sand Attack a lot, it would make it easier to catch. I've since learned that it can't. Uh, what? You're level 6. You're not gonna take me out in one hit. Ooh. So for anyone who doesn't know, Shedinja is a interesting Pokemon. Shedinja's HP stat its entire stat it, it has a single hp but its ability wonder guard i'm second guessing myself on the name of the ability i don't know why it's wonder guard its ability wonder guard prevents it from being hit by any moves that aren't super effective so it has one hp but like it can't get hit by well tackle because it's a ghost type it can't get hit by like, it, it, it could get hit by, like, an ember, but it couldn't get hit by a water pulse. Like, an ember kills it, but it's immune to so much. Um, so it can be a good Pokemon, but it can also be a bad thing, because, like, fire is a common type, ghost and dark are common-ish Why are you using harden? What is the point of that? Common-ish types, dark more so than ghost. Um, but like my, I think Astonish is 20 power, could take it out, but like a 200 base power move could not. Except for the fact that unless I'm wrong, the only 200 base power move is a fire type move, you know, but just ignore that part. Am I gonna catch you? I'll catch you. I wish I could paralyze you, so I could, you know... You, you better not struggle. You're not gonna struggle before I... 
While it works better on weaker Pokemon, you are- Oh, come on. So it has heart and that raises its defense and then a move that heals itself. Great ball because you're great, Shedinja. Come on, I'm using a great ball because you're so great. No? A safari ball? Do you want a safari ball? I don't know. Shedinja would be such. So Shedinja would be cool. I could play it, right? If it struggles once, it's dead, though. Um, Safari Ball. No. Premier Ball. That was so close! Oh, no. Only the ones. Okay. Oh, it only did once. I was so ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was ready again. I'm waiting for the moment. Game Boy Luke. It just works, guys! That was- how many Pokeballs did I use? How many Pokeballs did I use? How many times did it shake two or three times? And then the one time I was able to say Game Boy Luke, it worked. Okay, Shedinja, the Shed Pokemon. A pecu- Peculiar? Peculiar? A peculiar Pokemon that floats in the air even though its wings remain completely still. The inside of its body is hollow and utterly dark. One of its Pokedex entries say that if you ever see through the hole on the back of its body, you die. Which is really interesting because the whole Pokemon game, you stare at the back sprite of your Pokemon. So all of the Pokemon trainers see the back of the hole into Shedinja's hollow body, which is, yeah. So I'm gonna name you Jeff. I want to name you Jeff. I don't think I've- oh, that's not the right button. It's not even on the right thing. Like, I had to push a button on my controller and I reached to my laptop. I don't think I named anything Jeff yet. I don't remember making one of the Pokemon party pictures with the name of Jeff. So, let us see. Let us see, let us see. Oh no 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 okay okay that's fine that's fine that is perfectly fine um okay okay glad I didn't get rid of all well yeah glad I didn't get rid of all ice type coverage on B I got rid of so I got rid of one of B's ice type moves because oh wait no I think I did did I get another one back? Yeah, I got rid of B's ice type move thinking we have Alex anyway, and then I got another ice type move back because it was better than whatever the fourth slot was when I was leveling up. And also, yeah, Fate knows Surf. At least Alex isn't dead. We still have Alex. If we're gonna end up getting Alex to get in up, you looked up. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Okay, another Goldeen. I feel like every time we use Psybeam, it's doing less damage. Blech. That's a joke. Um, can you get encounters inside the abandoned ship? 
Hello everybody, Editing Finnick here. I'm realizing now while editing that this episode is going to be way too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here and we'll cover the encounter in the abandoned ship and the rest that I did during this recording session next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'm super excited to see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, maybe your comment could be answering the question of the day, which today is asking whether you prefer Cheez-Its or Goldfish. Two honestly favorite snacks for me. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the episode and I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye.